Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders. As usual, I am going to start with dynamic stretching. That is the greatest stretch, 4 to 5 repetitions on each side. By repetitions I mean we rotate entirely to the range of motion, thoracic mobility for one time each side, basically repeating it 4 to 5 times. Now, I have mentioned in my last video, I have additionally also added uh, the bird pose, bird dog pose basically, one of the uh, doctors taught McGill's exercises to improve core strength to my dynamic stretching routine to, you know, I, I started noticing that I need to start building a lot more core strength, I need to improve my core strength a lot more, so a little bit emphasis on that and here you can see me doing the same. Here, since the video has been sped up, oh, it seems very quick but I am holding each position for at least 5 to 10 seconds ensuring that I am using my core muscles and my glute muscles to stabilize myself while performing this particular movement. Again, 4 to 5 repetitions each side. Of course, we are going to do a mandatory deep squat wherein we sit completely in a deep squat for at least few seconds to ensure good hip mobility before we start into our weightlifting session. Now regularly on my shoulder workout days I try to add at least one or two mobility drills. So I was feeling a little bit of misfire while pushing weights overhead in terms of one shoulder going quicker than the other or slight uh, instability. So before starting with the weightlifting session I took a band put it around my wrist and started pressing them over my head while keeping them as stable as possible for 10 to 15 repetitions and of course the staple drill which I usually perform on my shoulder workout days is the plate around my head rotations important thing is not to move your head keep your head constant don't bend it don't lean forward and just rotate the plate around your head going through the range of internal and external rotation for your ball and socket joint in your shoulder muscle. Now for our first exercise, I'm going to start off with cable lateral raises, 3 sets, 20 repetitions with 45 seconds to 60 seconds of break in between sets. So one set is wherein you perform 20 repetitions with both your arms. Now since the cable machine, one extension is occupied, I was doing one arm at a time, you can also do it both arms at a time like I usually did in my previous videos. The most important part is to go through the full range of motion. So you lift it up all the way and then you let it come down all the way down getting into the stretched position. So what you have to make sure is that you stand slightly away from the uh, cable machine so that when you're completely down the cable is still under tension. It's still pulling on your arm. So pulling your shoulder across your body creating that stretch and from there you start raising up. What I have also added to do is when I finish 15 to 16 repetitions of tiring challenging repetitions I finished off with lengthened partial reps wherein the lower portion of the repetition I have done at least 5 to 10 repetitions. Here you can see me clearly I stand pretty not pretty much but slightly away from the machine so even when my arm is coming across my body the cable is still pulling on my arm creating that slight bit of tension so my shoulder is always or my lateral muscles of my shoulder are still under tension even at the lowest point same would not be possible with the dumbbell because the moment the dumbbell comes down gravity takes over so the pulling force is straight down here the pulling force is still across your body great way to start off our shoulder workouts gets a lot of blood flowing in. Now the trick is to shift from one arm to the other without taking a break and only take a break after completing both your arms. Stand as straight as possible. Keep your hips straight so that there's no tension building up on your lower back. Post completing those, I moved on to the calf muscle exercise. Here I chose to do seated calf raises today. Again, I, the gym does not have a seated calf raise machine so I'm just doing some makeshift uh, arrangement with a leg extension machine but it worked great. I mean I'm still able to do a proper seated calf raise exercise. You may choose to do 
a standing calf raise that's totally your choice you may if you do have great calves happy for you a little bit envious also but you can definitely go ahead and skip this particular exercise i am doing this necessarily to improve my calf strength and also their volume because i want to improve the lower portion of my legs the size and the volume how good they start looking and how much strength they can have so yes that's my endeavor three sets as many repetitions as possible slow and controlled with small breaks in between post completing those i moved on to dumbbell lateral raises in ladder style now you may say okay that's a lot of lateral raises what about ray delt work now what i have realized it my ray delt is taking quite some time in terms of recovering thanks to all the back workouts i have been doing wherein they are still getting hit pull ups face pulls uh, bent over rows t bar rows so i have chosen not to push them so hard give them enough amount of break to recover because they were still sore and tight so i was only focusing on my lateral delts to get a little bit more rounder shoulders spam them as much as possible and then a little bit of overhead work because friend delts are still working even when you're doing lateral raises when i'm doing dumbbell lateral raises as you can see i kept the range of motion very limited because once the dumbbell is completely down there's not much of tension there so i used to stop just near my hips where the tension is still there and from there push up again not taking it completely high up keeping the tension built up in my side delts so yes again i prefer to do ladder style wherein i just jump from one way to the other without taking a break and i do that twice as long as i hit failure in those repetitions post completing these i moved on to a little bit of overhead work since now my shoulders are tired and i have also exhausted my own self so there is a lot of fatigue build up so i prefer to do an equipment based overhead press wherein there is less of stability and control work more of just strength training pure strength training push the weight the weight is fixed it will move in one motion or in one range of motion so you don't have to really worry about stabilizing the weight over your head so that's one way to do it if you don't have this particular equipment you can also choose to do with a smith machine it acts in a similar way you get a lot more stability you can press a lot more weight rather than doing with a dumbbell or a free weight barbell so yes that's one way to do it three sets 20 repetitions again spamming the friend delts our lateral delts would start work or start feeling a little bit tight because of all the lateral work we have done but that's okay try to push through give yourself a little bit of uh, decline angle or an incline angle to focus more on your friend delts and you should be fine post completing the shoulder work i wanted to finish off with a little bit of core work too so i just did a plank for 1 minute on a bosu ball now core work is vital it's important to build core strength but the options which we have in terms of building this core strength is numerous what i have chosen or the method i have chosen might not be apt for everyone or might not be the preferable one for you as an individual so go ahead and do something which you would like to do if you don't prefer to do a plank on a bosu ball or if you don't want to do crunches if you don't want to do hanging leg raises that's absolutely fine just put in couple of minutes of core work to start building that entire core by core i just don't mean abs i mean the entire core front and back both lower back muscles and the front abdominal muscles have to work and even the side obliques to get stronger in your trunk area so my prefer my preference is to just do a plank for a minute at least to get start building up at least you know small baby steps and that's it we are done i'm going to finish off with a simple decompression hanging for a minute or do multiples of 20 to 30 seconds just first thing improving my forearm endurance strength secondly also decompressing the shoulders after that lot of work they are also getting stretched out thank you so much for watching the video i hope the workout was effective and you do like the video if you did please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would truly appreciate your subscription here is one more way to decompress your shoulder if you don't prefer to hang or do vertical hangs just stand legs 
about more than shoulder width apart and start dangling your hand all the way near to the floor and start making circles 10 at a time one arm at a time and that's a good way of decompressing your shoulders thank you once again i'll see you in the next video have a great day